How about a wrestling question? I wanted to ask you about. It's got to be uh, about wrestling, uh, man. I'm the wrestling nerd. It's God. got. It's got to be. I wanted to ask you about your match with the uh, Great Mutad Super Brawl. Where do you rank that in your career? Thoughts on Muta too? I didn't really like the match. Really? And okay. A lot of fans that do. <laughs> Muta, Muta really didn't want to. You know, he didn't want to drop the title. He didn't want to put me over. Hmm. But you know, it was just. He, he, I just know that he had a lot more in the tank that he gave that night, and it was hard pulling it out of him and trying to get him to do stuff. And that, that was just what I remember. You know, so for you, it was very frustrating. Is it, I thought it was my night, and I thought, fuck you, this guy, you fucking, yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, I always, I, you know, you, I always felt like you always wanted that NWA title. That was important, you know, for your legacy. And, uh, I, you know, again, through shoot interviews, I think you were upset that Flair went to the WWF at the time and kind of left you in, in the lurch. And then Muda not really giving you 100%. Mm. Um, did that kind of just ruin everything for you? Well, no. I mean, you know, I, I had spent so much of my career being focused on that world title, you know, working with Flair and and going to our Broadways everywhere. And it was just, he left over money and he, and he took everything with him. I was just so pissed off at him at that time, you know, because of what he did, you know, because he hurt our business and mm -hmm. our company mm -hmm. and, and all the business the way he did it. But, you know, we talked about it a couple of years later and we smoothed it all over. But, well, yeah, it was, I, I was pretty pissed off for it.